understanding why do we need a good literature review now whenever we are focusing about literature review firstly let's understand what it is and why it is so important literature review is a systematic study of the works done so far and this helps you to understand or bring into account what is a right way of pursuing a research so when you are going through the works that have already been done the information that have already been already being collected on a certain parameter helps you understand whether you are moving in a right direction or not and the approach that you are taking for understanding your research is correct a very simple example i can pick here is let's take i have a study where i'm trying to understand that consuming more sugar is detrimental to health to understand this i'm not directly starting with my research but what i am trying to do is i am trying to understand why this information has been collected and what have been the researches that have been done so far so a well organized systematic study is very very important i have to understand it from various perspective from a physiological perspective where i see the impacts on human body immune system where i see impacts on psychological well being and might be i can relate it to economic data a person with a good economic status might consume more of sugar because he might have availability to more sugar a good example would be consumption of more chocolates now when i am trying to collect information from various perspectives it is giving me an interdisciplinary thought and this interdisciplinary thought would help understand the right approach for my research i can simply quote examples where i say uh, chatterjee in his research explained that higher sugar levels are impacting the immune system of a child adversely now this is one of the literature reviews that i am quoting now with the help of this literature review i can understand that this is something that has already been proved in this field what i can do is i can take the good ideas from these researches and might be apply it to a different setting might consider a change in the settings or the phenomena and then proceed with understanding whether that this is actually applicable or not so researches whenever those are being done be it for the sake of thesis writing be it for the sake of publications or article writing there has to be a comprehensive literature review only with this literature review you are able to understand the intricacies of the topic that you are working on now this literature review has data collection and collection of uh, various ideas now this information that you are collecting can be through various sources so this literature review can be divided into either primary literature review secondary and tertiary we understand that in a while but again a lot of scholars have a question where to actually search for literature reviews so that is another something that is that we are trying to understand in a while the most important thing is whenever as i said in our initial class on applying for phd it's important that you select a topic of your interest only if you have selected a topic of your interest you would be able to do a comprehensive literature review because you'll have to read a lot of content when a person is reading a lot of content if there is interest it would bring in more better results with the research and the work would be much more channelized much more streamlined the outcomes would be much more directed so that is one of the most important things that we understand by writing a good literature review now primary literature review is a literature review that is collected in the form of the first hand informations that are given written and these are usually unpublished in the nature for example thesis which are in process you have unpublished manuscripts unpublished government documentations company reports company proceedings are the primary source of literature review the next is the secondary literature review now when we focus on secondary literature review a key idea here is to understand that the most of the journals newspaper books are examples of secondary secondary literature review and tertiary literature review has a much more in depth 
in-depth analysis where you have databases, catalogs, encyclopedias, dictionaries, bibliographies, and citation index. Now, this is something where you have an amalgamation of primary and secondary literature reviews that is being done and this is being created as a tertiary literature review so tertiary literature review is much more uh, comprehensive it's much more exhaustive much more uh, detailed where you have information from both the primary literature review and the secondary literature review that is coming in and a compilation kind of thing we could say is being created under a tertiary literature review so all of these sources are a perfect source to understand a good research to be followed. Now with this, we need to understand that once we have done the types of research, we need to understand where to look for. So there are two important places. One is the Google Scholar and the other is the various list where publications or the databases are being maintained. Now, whenever you are searching for literature review, I would recommend that if you have not joined a university, you do not have access to a lot of journals and uh, the databases that are there. Google Scholar is a perfect place. You would get most of the information, most of the researches through the Google Scholar, but that would be an elementary step. As you go deep, deeper into the research, you would have access to library. You can arrange certain access to library. You can even get individual subscriptions for certain databases. And then start to proceed with the databases. Now, these are some of the most important uh, databases that we are focusing on. So you can go for Web of Science, uh, JSTOR, Pro uh, Quiz, then Scopus is another very good uh, place, WorldCat where you have catalog of most of the literatures that are being seen. Uh, the next important is Science Direct. Now, uh, Web of Science usually has a lot of Compodium for science students. We also have JSTOR where you have Compodium for mainly uh, students from humanities, social sciences background. Now, Shodh Ganga is a repository of the various theses in India. So students looking for uh, important information from uh, Indian scholars can go to Shodh Ganga, there is another important place where literature reviews could be searched and that is directory of open access general, SIG journals and science direct as we have previously mentioned. So these are some of the most important places where you can do a good literature review, a search for a good literature review. Despite the fact these are some of those that we have quoted, there are many other places where you can get access to database depending on the universities you are enrolled in. But a good source, a good database would help you give a good direction to the research. So pick up your database and the uh, source through which you are accessing the literature review, one of the key important topics. The next thing that we need to understand while doing a research is this literature review covers a vast element. So definitely a temporal understanding of the literature becomes important. Now when we are trying to understand the criteria, we must say that age of material is very very important. So refer the, uh, the material which has been recently published vis-a-vis -a, -vis a material that had been published in the very initial or the historical period. This would help you create how uh, an understanding on how the things have changed over the time. Also, sometimes a good idea is to search through keywords or to search through uh, various varieties. For example, the same concept that we have been talking about since the starting is the consumption of sugar is detrimental to human health. Now, this could be understand fr understood from various perspectives. So, bringing in variety to research becomes important and this variety can be brought through interdisciplinary approach and this interdisciplinary approach would help you bring in better uh, outlines for research that you are trying to move forward for also a good literature review helps to develop good referencing skills so the references the bibliographies that you would be citing would become a easy task if you have done a thorough in-depth understanding of the various literary sources. Once you have done a literature review 
a detailed literature review i would say on the research topic that you are trying to go for this would help you to get an insight into what are the upcoming possible areas where the research could go the direction of the research and definitely a good way to defend yourself while you are uh, going for the interview so those were some of the key highlights that we have understood about literature review the ways through which literature uh, can be accessed the primary secondary and tertiary uh, literature review sources and then the database that you need to search for the good places where you can get in-depth understanding of uh, the quality of research and the types of research this would also help you understand what methodology to apply whether you need to go for a quantitative approach or a qualitative approach and once you have decided that also you will have an insight as to uh, what approach within quantitative or qualitative uh, can be used what are the good variables that could be applied and which variables could be interrelated so those are some of the crucial things that we understand for literature review we would be covering many more interesting lectures for you stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead